Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Clickview Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a Clickview learner, and in this video, I will share my learning about the combo chart. So, as the name suggests, combo chart is basically the combination of two different charts, which are line chart and bar chart. So, let's first review the data which will be used to create this combination chart. Here is this small table which represents country name, expense, and their savings. So this is a dummy data that is being used to create the bar combo chart. And uh, let's move ahead to start creating the combo chart. So for that, we right click on this blank space, go to new shade object and click on the chart. Here, uh, in this chart type section, we have this combo chart, which is the third icon and we click on next we need the x-axis or the country name by which we will plot this expense and savings data so we'll take this country name as x-axis and click add we click on next in the expression we will take the sum of expense and savings so for that we will click we will enter sum small brackets and uh, let's say we enter expense and we click OK. We will write it as country expense. We will again click add because currently as this icon indicate this is a bar chart that we have created. Now we click on add to sum the savings. So sum the small brackets. We will enter savings okay and the second it will automatically take as a line chart we will enter this label as country savings so for now let's click on finish and see how it is coming all right so let's ad adjust this chart so that all the values will come properly all right so this is how it is coming the bars are showing the expense and this red line is showing the savings so as we are seeing a uh, few problems the first thing is this that uh, start this chart is starting with zero uh, which is irrelevant in in this case where you have huge values so let's first get rid of this zero by right clicking on the chart go to properties and in access tab you have uh, the option of removing this forced zero and we'll click here and remove the force zero from both the calculations let's click apply and okay now you are seeing this that the zero has not removed and this may be because this red line value is very less or very small when you compare it with the bars value right so so the better way is to represent this line this red line on a y1 axis which is here so currently both the values the bar value and the line value is represented over this y axis but if we will take this red line on the y1 axis which will come here you know this zero will be removed so in this way we will get rid of two things first the zero and second is the poor represent uh, representation of this uh, red line so for that we will right click on the chart click on the properties and again in access you have this country savings so the country savings basically represents this red line and here the position section you have the option of uh, representing it either on left or on right so we click on right apply and ok alright so now you are seeing this that uh, red line is now coming on the y1 axis and the zero has been removed and now you have the values on both x axis which represent the bars sorry the y axis which represents the bar and the y1 axis which represents this red line and now in this way 
the chart looking far better when compared to the the earlier one where we were representing both the line and the bars on the y axis and with this chart you know you can make some good assumptions and make some good analysis uh, for your management so this is our combination chart all in all and uh, the rest of the properties are similar to your line chart and bar chart properties where you can display the labels and you know change the colors which i have already explained in the earlier videos so that's pretty much all coverage i wanted to give on the combination chart so with i will stop here and i'll meet you in the next video with a new chart till then bye bye